All right, this is a video log of uh, locating your parasitic ground. Uh, so this bike has been eating a lot of batteries. But on top of that, I decided to redo the entire wiring system and isolate the lights brake lights, turn signals, all of those will be ran on a separate battery and then my bike will be started by a hybrid uh, super capacitor battery bank. But on the main note, locating your parasitic ground, you basically, if you're, if you're getting a click, no start, click click or whatever your if your motor's turning but not starting your you gotta you gotta do all the um, pre-checks basically check your wiring make sure your wirings are all um, tightened down and if that one's if you are parasitic if you're still getting a parasitic reading then uh, your next step would be trying to isolate that parasitic draw uh, my parasitic draw on this bike was about six volts so I was getting a major uh, parasitic draw I've eaten up about uh, maybe $700 batteries this is one of them this is a pretty good brand I might buy this but I found another one that's a lot more cheaper which is uh, wicked battery so we're gonna go from here so while in the midst of trying to isolate my parasitic draw my key ignition broke so I replaced it with a toggle switch for an automatic on I'm running a uh, key fob so I don't I no longer need the key to start this bike it's basically gonna come off a key fob <coughs> so once you check all your parasitic draws and still can't locate it first you check your starter back here your starter is good the next one you're gonna go over and check your coils if your coils are still showing parasitic draw go and check your stator your stator might be grounding to the bike which is giving a negative reading on your parasitic draw if your stator is good then you move on to your next step would be isolate serious isolation which is Disconnect your stator. After testing your stator is good, disconnect it. Disconnect your coils, your coil pack, which are, which is this, this wire running to the coil, black and white. And then you disconnect your odometer. Then, once everything is disconnected and isolated, you can go and perform continue performing your um, parasitic draw you go back to your your starter if your starter showing parasitic draw but the starter is good disconnect your part your your starter move on to the next one reconnect your um, your coils your coil pack and perform your parasitic draw if it's still showing a parasitic draw disconnect your coil pack and retest your stator plug that back in and retest if you're showing all three still showing a parasitic draw this is what this is where the money the money happens for these bike shops like Harley-Davidson 
you go down to your ignition module make sure your ignition module is unplugged and retest with the ignition module touching the bike grounding it so by the ignition module being screwed in it's the housing itself is grounding to the bike and this is the power this is the black and white cord that's running from running all the way from down here all the way up here when you wire this to the battery and this one's still plugged in everything else your starter your coil packs and your ignition mo uh, your odometer is disconnected the only thing should be connected is this and if this is showing a negative draw remove this reset your timing once you reset your timing your bike should no longer read a parasitic draw this is where the six volts the six volt par, uh, parasitic draw is coming from from it's been jumping from three to six so anything that's showing a voltage of 1.0 voltage or higher is coming from this so once you remove this you should see a timing cup that timing cup should have two notches in that notch that notch pairs up with this actual ignition module there's there is a magnetic uh, sensor one on top and one on bottom of the actual module I don't want to take this the module out anymore because it's I've, I've reset it so once you take it out inspect this one if it's burned then replace it if it's not burned and it looks good put it back in place so once you inspect it put it back in place leave the bolts out go over here take out your engine plug and right here you will be able to to set top dead center for an SS SNS motor you'll get a T colon F which is which means top dead center so you're in top dead once you're in top dead you can verify by removing your plug stick your stick a long screwdriver Where is the screwdriver? You can see the, well, I don't have it readily available, but when you take this plug out, drop your screwdriver in there, and it shouldn't even go, it'll probably go uh, one fourth of the way. But if it goes the full length down, that means your piston is in the bottom. So you need to bring your piston up the front piston needs to come up and you should you should be able to see some engines could report TDC for top dead center this engine is reporting uh, TF which stands for top dead once you get top dead center you shouldn't get any uh, parasitic any more parasitic draw you go back put your negative wire to your battery this one I have a test light test light comes in handy this is basically a positive negative wire I soldered it to a an LED which is a 3 or 5 volt and you, you touch it to the, the frame of the bike and if it lights up this one's not lighting up touch it anywhere on the bike where you get a good ground if it lights up that means you still have a parasitic draw so now if you I've now that you've isolated your bike bringing it top dead center you can unplug your 
ignition module continue on by testing your odometer the same exact thing negative plug with your test meter or test light touch the ground cable which is this this is the power source so you got black is ground then you got red as key red white is constant and if you touch it and it lights up possibility it could be this but it's not lighting up so this is good so you can leave this you can you can replug your odometer now you can replug your coil pack and continue on testing what I've really found out is that you don't have to replace anything as long as you do a um, ground test a parasitic ground test <coughs> And chances are your your bike is grounding if it's not starting for this case the motor I don't know how the motor got out of uh, sequence but most of the time I would say for this bike for this case this bike rattles so much that it comes out of sequence of being top dead center. So this would actually move. Um, SNS didn't come with. Uh, there's a tab here behind this. I don't know if you can see that. There's a notch down here, and behind that notch, on the frame, there's three notches one of those notch should match the IST notch in there and I think I'm going to put a bolt in there to prevent it from moving or a screw because it looks like I can put a screw in there and it would prevent it from moving up and down or whatever but that is how you get rid of your parasitic draw and that would basically everything else would fall in place and your bike would end up starting uh, back to the hybrid battery because this is a 2.4 kilowatt starter I'll try and use this which is going to put out 15 volts um, 600 cranking amps tested at 600 cranking amps I think it does more than 600 cranking amps uh, double check your fuses all my fuses were good uh, and that is about it so I'll go ahead and uh, continue on button it up and then crank this up